welcome students welcome back if you remember in our previous sections in our previous lecture we have seen what do you mean by determinate structures and indeterminate structures we have seen the difference between determinate and indeterminate structures we have seen various structures we have seen simply supported beam overhanging beam and cantilever beam are supposed to be determinate beams and continuous beam propped cantilever and fixed beam are supposed to be indeterminate beams let's go further to understand what exactly is the differentiation between determinate and indeterminate structures so as seen in the previous lecture the first difference between determinate and indeterminate structures is that is for statically determinate structures a number of equations or number of unknown reactions number of unknown reactions is equal to number of unknown reactions is equal to number of equilibrium equations number of equilibrium equations we have seen basically there are three equilibrium equations but additional equilibrium equations can be generated if the internal hinge is there so num statically determinate structures number of unknown reactions is equal to number of equilibrium equations when then we call it that structure as statically determinate structure whereas what is statically indeterminate structures we can define number of unknown reactions are more than number of equilibrium equations when number of unknown reactions are more than number of equilibrium equations are more than number of equilibrium equations we call it as statically indeterminate structures so that is the first differentiation between determinate structures and indeterminate structure number of unknown reactions are more than number of equilibrium equations then we call it as statically indeterminate structure at the end of this lecture we will see when number of unknown reactions are less than number of equilibrium equations what we call that structure as this we will see at the end of the le lecture now the second differentiation is the types that is the what are the types of these uh, there is simply supported structures simply supported beams or simply supported frames are the examples for example simply supported beams or simply supported frames are the examples of in a uh, determinate structure the cantilever beams and cantilever frames are the example of determinate structure overhanging beam or overhanging frame are the examples of determinate structure so second differentiation point is the examples overhanging beam or overhanging frames are the examples of determinate structure whereas the second point of differentiation between det uh, indeterminate structure and determinate structure is propped cantilever is an example the example says propped cantilever is a example of indeterminate structure okay then next is uh, a uh, continuous beam is an example of indeterminate structure where number of equilibrium equations are less than number of unknown reaction so continuous beam propped cantilever and fixed beam or fixed frames are the examples of indeterminate structure so these are the two points of differentiation the first two points of differentiation now let's understand last lecture i have promised that we will discuss why all these structures are indeterminate in practice we will see most of the structures are indeterminate and why so we'll see it today these determinate structures are uneconomical in nature determinate structures are uneconomical now what i mean to say i will prove my points and these indeterminate structures are economical in nature let us say one structure i will prove my point and in our later discussions we are going to prove it using software using either of the softwares let us say i am proving my point number 3 let us say there is a beam of uh, which is simply supported that is a determinate beam simply supported with some loading on it simply supported of span l of span l as same material some material let us say some loading on it some uniformly distributed load and some point loads over it and let us say the same span is covered by a fixed beam same span which covered by a fixed beam same span l is spanned by a beam which is fixed at both the ends let us say it is also subjected to same loads same loading condition so loading condition and spans are same one is determinate this is determinate and this is indeterminate in nature now if we get the bending moments we will prove it manually as well as we can prove it 
using softwares at the end of this course i am going to introduce one of the softwares in structural analysis to you if we prove that this is the bending moments of this some some nature of bending moment diagram then the bending moments in case of indeterminate being are quite lesser if this is the bending moment let us say this is m then we can find that depending on the span and depending on the uh, loading this can be m by 3 to m by 6 so bending moments to be carried by the indeterminate structures bending moments that are carried by the indeterminate structures are quite less as compared to bending moments carried by the determinate structures now my friends when we will learn further in uh, design of structures we know we design the structures for bending moment higher the bending moment thicker is the section lesser the bending moment thinner is the section say section of the beam or section of the column the, in that case we know definitely that determinate structures carry more bending moments this means the more thicker sections thicker sections will be required for determinate structure if the structure is determinate then we may require thicker section but if the structure is indeterminate we may we, we may be dealing with thinner sections this means we are achieving economy in material we are achieving economy in material that's why i made the statements that determinate structures are uneconomical and indeterminate structure are economical in nature and that is why most of the structures we find are designed as indeterminate structures and the methods that is moment distribution method slope deflection method or uh, flexibility method stiffness methods all these are the methods three moment equation all these are the methods to analyze indeterminate structures because determinate structure we can analyze using equations of equilibrium alone which we are going to do in this particular week and we are going to analyze determinate structures we are going to plot shear force diagram axial force diagram and bending moment diagram but most of these structures are designed as indeterminate in nature because they are economical they carry lesser bending moment lesser bending moment means thinner sections can be dealt with we can design the section we can design the structure with thinner section with lesser material this means they are economical in nature so these are the basic points of differentiation between statically determinate structures and statically indeterminate structure the first point is definition when number of unknown reactions is equal to number of equilibrium equations we call the structure as statically determinate structure when number of unknown reactions are more than number of equilibrium equations we call the structure as statically indeterminate structures now the second is for example simply supported cantilever and overhanging structures are supposed to be determinate structures whereas prop cantilever continuous structures and fixed structures are supposed to be indeterminate structures and the third point of differentiation is the determinate structures are uneconomical and the indeterminate structures are economical and that is why indeterminate structures are designed everywhere we design the structure as indeterminate structure and the methods of analysis of indeterminate structures we are going to learn in detail now at the beginning of the lecture i promised you something that let us say this is the structure let us say this is the structure this is one of the aids is hinged other end is roller then we call the structure number of reactions number of unknown reactions equal to three number of unknown reactions equal to three and number of equilibrium equations equal to three right number of equations is equal to three then we can say this structure is determinate structure we call this structure when number of unknown reactions is equal to number of equilibrium equations we call this structure as determinate structure right this is determinate structure now we have seen in the previous lecture as well as in this lecture when number of unknown reactions i am drawing a structure again this is hinged this is roller let us say and this is again hinged a continuous beam this is again hinged then all of us know this hinge support will offer two reactions roller will offer one reaction and this uh, hinge support will offer again two reactions so number of reactions or number of unknowns are e equal to five is equal to five and then number of equilibrium equations are the same summation of forces in x direction summation of forces in y direction summation of moments all equal to zero so number of reactions are more than number of equilibrium equations we call this structure as indeterminate structure so this cannot be determined using equations of equilibrium alone in the beginning of the lecture i have promised that we are going to discuss a case when number of reactions are less than number of equilibrium equation let us say 
this is a this is a roller this is the roller and this is another roller two rollers so we know each roller will offer one reaction this roller will offer one reaction this roller will offer one reaction so number of reactions or number of unknowns number of unknown reactions or number of unknowns in all is equal to 2 whereas number of equilibrium equations are 3 because there is no internal hinge we can say basic there are three equations available summation of forces x direction summation of forces y direction and summation of moments is equal to zero so number of unknowns are two number of equations are three in these unknowns are lesser than number of equation these type of structures are called as statically unstable structures these are statically unstable structures definitely when number of unknowns are lesser than number of equilibrium equations then these, these are known as sorry these are known as statically unstable structures. i will just rub it out they are known as statically unstable structures statically unstable structure naturally if we apply some force on this particular beam this beam will keep on rolling and it will not be a stable structure whereas other structures are stable whether it is determinate or indeterminate they are statically stable in nature but when number of unknowns are more than number of equilibrium equation just like this when number of unknowns are two and number of equilibrium equations are three then we call this structure as statically unstable structure these are called as unstable structure this is the differentiation between determinate structures and indeterminate structures i hope you have understood the differentiation between statically determinate and statically indeterminate structures all your queries are most welcome in the comment box uh, we would like to and also uh, uh, the link for joining the course is provided in the description of this particular video you can join the course whatsapp group is also formed you can direct your queries on the whatsapp group or you can direct the queries directly in the comment box of this particular video thank you for watching